What is up, everybody? It's your boy, King Boys Productions, and I am back at it with another reaction video. So today, I am here with Ty Dolla Sign, Jack Harlow, and 24K Golden I1 official video. Now, this is actually from the Fast 9, or F9, the Fast Saga, 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 whatever. It's from the, that movie. Um, and apparently, I think the movie's coming out, I don't know exactly when, like July, August, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really enjoy those movies. I know a lot of people, they get criticized a lot, but like, I actually really enjoy them. And I don't, I, to be honest, I don't understand why they get so much hate. Like, people be hating, for, literally, for, it seems like for no reason, honestly. Because it's like, people hate because it's like, oh, it's so unrealistic that this shit would happen. It's like, yeah, bro, it's a movie. It's a movie, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hate when people say shit like that, like, oh, that would never happen in real life. It's like, yeah, no shit, bro, it's a movie. Of course that shit wouldn't happen in real life. I don't know. Like, it's like over-the-top action, and I just love it. I gotta be honest. I don't know why I look so bright right now. Let's hope that that... I hope that that fixed it a little. I feel like I'm just, like, super pale right now. Hopefully it's just on the on the camera I look like this, and when I put it in editing bay, I don't look this, like, white. <laughs> Bro, I'm just trying to find the right balance. Like, it's really hard. I'm Maybe I might need to start using my other camera and, like, white balancing it more. Because, like, obviously I have this shit on, like, auto, and it's, like, it. I feel like it's, like, fucking me up. I don't know. I feel like it's, like, really pale right now. I don't know. Man, let me just get right into this song, and let me just shut the hell up about Mr. Pale. Like, if I turn this off, like, let me just show y'all for a second. Oh, no. If I turn it off, that's what it looks like. If I turn it on, it looks like it, it almost looks like it adds too much to my hair. But then it, like, starts to, like, fade away as, like, the camera adjusts. Like, see, it starts, okay, now it looks a little bit, I don't know, bro. I'm gonna be honest, hopefully it looks fine. I think it looks a lot better now. It definitely looks a lot better. I don't know what the fuck's happening. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. This shit's been mad annoying. This, this lighting in down here, it's mad annoying. So hopefully this looks okay. If I look terrible, just let me know. Let me know. <laughs> All right, let's get into this song. I'm excited. Ty Dolla Sign, Jack Harlow, 24K Golden. And it's a fast saga. The fast saga, they all, like, every one of their movies always has some, like, a banger soundtrack. Like, they always have a good, I think the soundtrack comes out next week, I think. But, like, they always be having just a good-ass soundtrack. So let's check this song out. I'm really excited for this movie, man. Medals round my neck because I won, I won. Now my mama set because I won, I won. Out here making bands do what I want. Get you with the phone, I get what I want. Skip the head and nails with the one on one. She just wanna chill on some one on one. I just sit the gas, bitch, I'm gone, I'm gone. I might do the dash on them just because. Medals round my neck because I won. And I'm not gonna stop winning, and I'm not gonna stop spinning. Lifestyle, I'm locked in it. Ten weeks, I've been top ten it. She need me like oxygen. Felt the same till I got finished. Big ring with them rocks in it. When I pop one, I'm like Popeye when he got spinach. I'm clean cut with a pop image, but it's demons that I'm locked in with. Take a flight and switch content. It's my old whip and have an ox in it. New whip, I just hit a button and suddenly there's no top in it. No top in it. But I still get plenty in it. Then I give it that Jimmy Hendrix. Lusted over by plenty women say i look just like diggy simmons fresh prince i get jiggy with it a lot of hits there's never any misses dizzy whiz i'm in the city with it on top any minute any minute medals round my neck because i won i won uh. now my mama set because i won i won out here making bands do what i want Medals round my neck because I Pulled up in that boot truck, made it drop down like her skirt, skirt. Lane's talking that bullshit with that bullshit Ain't gonna work, work New crib, got a good view Bring the hood through what I could do Lil' baby, she know that I'm worth it Can't tell me that I don't deserve, ayy Billion bucks if you want this deluxe Baby, I feel expensive, okay Yeah, I came from the cut And I ran this shit up Just to spend it as much with the game ah. I give a fuck 
fuck. Cause it's up and it's stuck. Baby, I'm never going away. Feel like, hey, I went, I hit the same. Never practice, but I came to play. Medals round my neck because I won. I love 24K Golden, man. Now my mama set because I won, I won. Out here making bad do what I want. D with the phone, I get what I want. What I want. Skip the hidden deals, the one on one. She just wanna chill on some one on one. I just sit the gas, bitch, I'm gone, I'm gone. I might do the dash on them just because. Medals round my neck because I won. Okay. Like I said, man, they be making bangers for this. Like, I don't like. I don't know how they like. Like, it's from Atlantic Records, but it's like, how do they be getting like these just absolute bangers? And like, why? But like, for what reason? Do they have to have like all these absolute bangers on their album for the for the movie? Like, I, that's what I don't understand either. Is like, like if you sometimes if you look at their albums the albums for like the fast movies it's like all like a ton of huge rappers a ton like i i think they released the i, I don't want, i don't really want to pull it up right now but like they released the the um the tri the teaser or like the the album cover for it or whatever and it just had a ton of big names it's kind of crazy like every time every movie that they've done they always get like these big ass name rappers and they get them all on the soundtrack but what's crazy is that like sometimes like some some of the songs like don't even make it into the movie they're just on the soundtrack it's like what what is the point of that first of all like what's the point of like only having it for the for the soundtrack not the whole movie like you don't even play it in the movie or you play it like the like the end of the credits to where like people have already left the theater by then because it's not like a marvel movie where like you know like marvel you always stay till the end of the credits because you're like oh there might be a teaser for like there's always like end credit scenes in marvel like that's what they're known for like the the fast movies are not known for that so i don't know i kind of want to rewatch all of them though before like i don't know when this movie comes out i can't remember i think it might be even next week honestly i might go to the th honestly might go to the theater to see this one like i haven't been to a theater in a long ass time like this might be like the perfect opportunity to go the only thing that stinks is like the theater around me is like only open after like 5 p.m ever which kind of sucks because especially like days where i work because like i work at usually i work at like three o'clock or four o'clock till like 10 so it's like i wouldn't be able to make it on time for like a show a lot of the time so like i like to go to shows like in the morning i like to go to like early shows i mean not in the morning but like 11 so I can see a movie and I kind of like it being like empty. I don't know. Like sometimes it's cool being like packed. Obviously now with like still with like COVID stuff still kind of going on. Like I wouldn't obviously want to go to like a packed ass theater right now. But like I, I like him some like sometimes that's cool when the when the theater's packed. Like honestly, I think I'm going to go see um, A Quiet Place 2. I might see that tomorrow or maybe Sunday or something. Like, cause I actually really want to see that movie. I loved the first one and I heard from a lot of people I've heard that like it was better than the first and I thought the first was really fucking good. So, um, I'm definitely interested in seeing that. So I I'm probably going to go see that this weekend sometime, but like the one thing I remember about the quiet place one was I, when I, I saw it in a packed ass theater, like literally every seat was taken. It was like me and a couple of my friends, we all went to the theater to see it. And we had to sit like in the front, you know, like in the, the two rows in the front that are just really shitty. And you're like kind of sitting like these the whole time. You have to like lift your neck up. Those are the seats that we had. And it wasn't like too bad, but like it was like every seat in the theater was taken. And we were looking for like in that one, it's, it's one of those theaters where you can actually re you actually reserve specific seats. And we luckily were able to like those are the only seats that like not every single seat in the theater was taken, but like damn near because there was like, I think like four or five of us that went and there was not any spot in the theater where four or five seats were next to each other or even like close to like like we could do like three in one row and like two like right in front or something like there was not none like that but anyway we went to see it and it was like so cool to see in the theater because it was like so silent but like when shit popped off it was like so cool i don't know it was really cool to see so i'm probably gonna see that this weekend it's probably it's probably gonna be the first time back in the theaters man that's one thing about me is i love watching movies in the theaters because I, it's just like such a different sound. Like the sound quality is so unique. The big screen is just so awesome to watch it on. 
and the theater that i go to around my house has like these nice like recliner chairs like there's like little buttons like i know some theaters have them but like they're like little recliner chairs you press one button and it like extends like the footrest and the other button like extends the like the back of the chair and it's just nice the only thing i just the only thing i'm not looking forward to is like wearing a fucking mask the whole time in the theater which i mean i know you have to do but it's like i'm still gonna do it you know like i'm going to do it but it's like i that's the only thing that sucks it's like you have to wear your fucking mask while you're sitting in your seat i don't know actually do you have to wear your mask while you're sitting in your seat or is it kind of like you're at a uh you know like when you're at dinner at a restaurant you like you can take your mask off as soon as you sit down is it like similar to that i don't know i haven't been to a theater in a long time it's been almost two <laughs> almost like probably two years since i've been in a theater so no, not that long, but it's been a long ass time. I don't even remember what the last movie I saw in the movie theater was, to be honest. I'm trying to think. And I don't even, I honestly don't remember. It's been a long time. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously been over a year, but I, I honestly don't know. So I might go see that this weekend. And then obviously I want to see the new Fast and the Furious. Because like I said, I've, I've always been a fan. I've been a fan of these movies. I didn't really get into them until like Fast 5 came out. Like I wasn't really a huge fan of them. I liked Fast. I like Fast Five is when I think I think that's when Dwayne the Rock Johnson joined the squad, joined the the team or whatever, or like he was against them. He was like the, the the cop or something like that. But after after that, I was like I was hooked. I was hooked on those movies, man. And I watched every single one in the theaters after that. Watched Fast Six, Seven, Eight, now Nine. I'm gonna see in the theater. And then I I think I bought. I don't. I think I bought most of them. Honestly, I think I have them all on like DVD or Blu-ray. So I'm. I'm probably gonna. Re I want to rewatch all of them. But it's like I don't really have a lot of time these days. Like if I was back at my apartment still, you know, your boy would have a lot of extra time that I could just like sit down and and like binge all eight movies. But I don't know. Maybe I'll watch them all. I don't. Again, I don't know when this movie. Let me see. Let me actually look it up. And the fucking Lakers lost, man. Damn it. When does Fast and the Furious 9 come out? Okay, June 25th. So, that's like three weeks. It's like three weeks from today. What's today? Yeah, it's the four. Yeah, it's the, so it's three weeks from today. Three weeks from today that comes out. So, I have a couple weeks to think about it, you know, what I'm gonna, if I'm gonna watch all the movies and shit. It also depends on my work schedule. You know, your boy is busy. Like, I work four to five days a week and like, on those days, I just, you know, I don't really be feeling like watching a whole ass movie. So, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all feel me? But I'm not going to lie. It's been kind of nice these first couple weeks. They have your boy off on Fridays. Like, I've, I've been off Fridays and Sundays, which is which was so nice last week. And this week, I got Thursday, Friday, and Sunday off, which is like... Whew. But I still get like a decent amount of hours too. So, I'm not like complaining like, oh, I'm not getting any hours. Like I'm getting a nice amount of hours, plus I'm getting like some nice days out. Like having a Friday off, bro, is so it's so like relieving because Fridays are always like the busiest day there. But to like have the day off, it just feels good. I'm not even gonna lie, it just feels good to have the day off and be able to just relax on a Friday. And same with like Sunday, like weekend days. Having weekend days off is just it just feels good, man. Because I don't, I never used to get weekend days off. Like when I was here in the winter, working. I never had any weekend days off. Like I worked Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, like every single day in that, in the like during the, that time. And it sucks because it's like you can't ever. It's almost like you can't ever spend any time with your family at all. Like I wasn't able to spend any time with my family because it was like, like if I was off on the weekdays, it's like my mom was at work, and then by the time she gets home, she's tired or whatever, and she doesn't want to, you know, do any. And it's like no one really wants to do much after, like they've been working all day or whatever. But like. You know, your boys, like, I'm like, oh, I'm off today. Let's do something. You know, let's, let's have fun. You know, I don't know. I guess not really do anything because that's not really what I, I don't know. You, you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but, yeah, if you guys did like, please leave a like. Please subscribe. Original video is in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm curious, again, if people are listening, watching to the end. Um, comment pickle on this video. If you're if you watch to the end, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. There's a there's gonna be some shout outs up for grabs next week. There was a one in the last video and now one in this video. Pickle. If you comment pickle, you will get a shout out in the next video, next week's videos because you know I, I want to know if there's people that actually sit here and listen to my rants or because you know I see the metrics. 
and I see like mo like 99% of the people click off after the reaction. And that pisses me off. No, I'm just playing. I, I get it sometimes. But all right, thank you guys. And until next time, it's your boy, King Boys Productions. Squaw. Didn't need his powder, yeah. Oh, she's sweet, gotta grab with a bark. Yeah, too sweet, we can pound.